Let me introduce Lars and let me introduce our new theme for this game because everybody is excited. It's time to play What Does Lars Like Better? Now here's right. your host, Howard Stern. Ah, thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Jose is standing by who thinks he knows Lars because he's the head of the heavy metal channels for 20 years here at Sirius XM and says he's a Metallica expert. And Joe <laughs> is on the phone, Lars, who is a big fucking tool who had the balls to call me up and, and, and argue with me about John Bonzo Bonham's <laughs> drums. And we got into an argument. Lars would say without thinking that John Bonzo Bonham was the number one drummer of all time. No. How much you want to bet? I'll bet you a hundred bucks. I probably could get an answer by tomorrow. I think it's a new game show. What will Lars say? <laughs> and I oh, said, hey, oh, Lars is the expert. Let's find out what Lars thinks. And so a game was born. Gary is going to take over the hosting so I can play. Gary. All, all right. right. So, so we asked Lars a series of questions last night, just yes. like 12 hours ago. Yes. And I'm going to give you two choices. So we're going to start with a really simple one. What is Lars's favorite animal? A dog or a cat? Okay. <laughs> oh, I, I know you know this, this Howard. <laughs> oh, shit. I know you All know right, this, well, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm getting nervous because Lars says I know this, and I'm like, I don't fucking know this. <laughs> and Howard doesn't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know shit. What do you think the answer is, Robin? I'm going to say, because Lars is so manly, that... Mm -hmm. He's a dog man. <laughs> oh, he's a dog man, okay. Jose, what do you say? Mm. I'm going to go with Lars is a cat dude. Mm. All right, Joe, <laughs> you've proven you don't know shit about Lars. What do you say? Exactly. There you go. Yeah. I'm going to go with Jose. I'm going to say same. You're going to say cat. All right. All right, I'm going to say because... I love them both, but 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 Lars, he's so masculine with that drumming, uh, and yet, but Lars is very sophisticated. I'm gonna go with cat. Lars, please give us the answer. Okay, and the answer, drum roll, please, is a cat. Yes. Oh. Yes. And uh, yes. in this household, just on the other side of this door, actually, there we have four cats, all rescue cats, of course. No dogs. <laughs> no dogs, no, no dogs. Right. Oh, oh my God. Getting back to the game, the score is Howard won, Jose won, Joe the caller won, Robin zero. You got to do something about that. I'm all with no points. All right, here's one that I think everybody wants to know. What is Lars's favorite condiment? Is it mustard or ketchup? <laughs> Trojan. Jeez. This is a hard one. I'm going to go to Joe first. Go ahead, Joe. I'm going to go with mustard because he's a Dane. Because he's Danish? <laughs> you think that I, mustard is... I, I, you know I like that. I, I don't know what it means, but I like that. <laughs> I agree with Joe in a weird way because he's Danish. I'm going I'm going mustard as well. I, I, like, I like the whole sound of that. I, I'll say mustard. Um, uh, let's go to Robin. I'm saying mustard. Mustard popped into my head immediately because I think ketchup is so American. I think ketchup is disgusting, and so will Lars. Lars will think like me. Uh, Jose, go ahead. You're a metal guy. You you claim uh, you're, you're certainly pumped up. You're maybe too much so. You almost, Jose, you like can you just can you share? Have you ever shared with, with Howard and Robin the uh, the pump up thing you do right before you get going? I just do a vocal warm up, uh, and I impersonate uh, Metallica's James Hetfield. Ooh, yeah! Ooh, yeah! So uh, I do a lot of that stuff. <laughs> I hope I didn't embarrass you. No, uh, dude, I love that. I'm proud of that. All right, Jose, go ahead. Let's Ooh. see if you have any kind of common sense. I'm going to go with mustard, but I'm going to go with the brown spicy mustard, like the Grey Poupon, man. I feel like <laughs> Lars is more of a fancy dude where he sticks his knife, his butter knife, into the jarred mustard, and then right. and then like smears it on stuff. So I'm going to say he's a Grey Poupon spicy mustard guy. Uh, Lars, please, the answer. The answer is uh, everybody's right. <gasps> wow. Ooh. Mustard. And All what right. about the I'm on the board. I mean. And you know, we <laughs> have to, I think we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to give extra props here to Jose because uh, I am more of a uh, of a of a knife kind of Greg Papon kind of Yes! Ooh, yeah, Lars, yeah! <laughs> I like I like the mustard with a little bit of uh, a little bit of kick to it. Okay, we'll get a little uh, more interesting here. We asked Lars who his favorite superhero was. Oh good. Did he say Green Lantern or the Flash? Green oh, Lantern or the dear. Flash. The Flash does one thing. He does it well. 
I'm going to go with Flash based on the fact that Flash does one thing and he focuses on it, and that kind of is a, the Lars way of life. Uh, that's my vote. Uh, go ahead, Robin. I don't even think Lars knew there was a Green Lantern. Because so <laughs> he's not a douche. <laughs> All right. Uh, Robin says Flash. Um, <laughs> let's go to Mr. Expert, who for some reason warms up like he's James. Uh, Jose, go ahead. <laughs> Lars is going to say the Flash, man. His double bass drumming, the Flash. Uh, the speed, yes, yes. Uh, Joe, go ahead. I'm going Flash. Same. Same, okay. What is your answer? Uh, you guys are all on it. On it. On it. The Flash, absolutely. All right. One last question, because right now we're all tied up except Robin's down one point. Right. There's a three-way tie. Gary, go ahead. Okay, we asked Lars, who was his favorite comedian? Oh. And did he say Whoa. Bobcat Goldthwait or Sam oh. Kinison? Oh. oh. Got this my in the God. bag. <laughs> now, I'm going to tell you, I'll go first. Bobcat was extremely close to Kurt, to, uh, Kurt Cobain. Yeah. So I could see Bobcat and Lars being incredibly close, bonding. But Sam Kinison, who was a dear friend of mine, Loved musicians. Sam Kinison was maybe the most brilliant comedian I had ever heard. I'm going with Sam Kinison. I don't care because it's just got to be. Uh, okay, I'm Kinison. Robin, go ahead. I'm going with Kinison. You're going with Kinison. And look at Jose beaming over there like he knows something. <laughs> he knows. The first thing that came into my metal soul is Sam Kinison. All right, let's go to Joe. Sam Kinison. Sam Kinison. Sam Kinison. And don't forget. Well, then nobody's winning this game if we've got a. <laughs> That's true. All right. Let's lock it in. Let's get the drum roll. And let's turn to the man of the hour. I'll tell you what. Uh, it, let, let's uh, hang. Hold, hold the Stop drum the drums. Stop the drums. Stop the drum roll, Zach. Let, oh, let me just say that, and yes, Howard, you're, you're totally right about Bobcat. Obviously, Bobcat would play San Francisco. I'm talking 84 and 85, and James and I would go see him. He loved music. We loved comedy, obviously, especially cutting-edge stuff. And Bobcat was great. This was the time when he was doing mostly just the screaming character. Uh, Kinison was about a year later. His comedy was so intellectual and was so smart. Those first three or four years, insane. Super so if we have the drum roll, drum roll then please. you can probably guess where this is going. Oh, there it is, the drum roll. And Lars's favorite comedian is Sam Kinison. And the wow, panel gets a 100 well. again. Isn't that great? <laughs> uh, this game can go. Listen, this game. I we can do I this forever. Up. Could, yeah. you, Lars, could, Lars, could you just keep answering Lars. questions, Lars? Yes. <laughs> Lars, thanks for doing this. From everyone at the game, what does Lars think? Uh, we say adieu. Thanks, Lars. Howard, Thank you, Robin, Lars. Gary, it's great to see you guys. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Love you. Much love from love San Francisco. And um, hopefully we'll catch up soon. Ooh, yeah!